Well, my name is Penny O'Neill and I'm a textile artist. I, what defines me definitely would be freeform crochet. I love to work in freeform because I always tell my students there's no such thing as a mistake. It's an artistic curve. And what I love to do is just get them to throw all the yarn on the ground, choose which ones they want, and then we start with a circle and we go from there. Well, I come from a very artistic family. My mother's Irish and uh, her background is um, uh, Romani gypsies from Ireland. And my grandmother and my mother taught me how to crochet um, a long time ago and then I forgot about it. And then when we came to Australia, I got a job. My first job was a tram conductress. And I was on, I used to go from Burwood to Princess uh, Bridge every morning and this woman used to be there and she'd be crocheting like a mad person, you know, really, really fast. So I sat down with her one day and asked her if she'd teach me this style because it was so fast. And um, she did and uh, I've, I've never looked back and it, it's no rules. This is what I loved about it, you see. Well, I look around all the time in my surroundings. I um, I'm always writing little notes to myself and um, what I find exciting is just things that people are wearing or um, it might be a, a plant or a piece of rock, especially when I'm working with the Aboriginal women in the desert, which I've been doing for 11 years now. And I watch some of the things that they do, their, their art, and it really, really gets me going and I've sketch things and start making them straight away. Like my frilled lizard, Sharon, for instance. Uh, I, had, I had a frilled lizard living under my fridge in Alice Springs, so, yes. Um, I, I would say my favorite gadget would be a set of, of hand-carved crochet hooks. And I made them when I was traveling up to Alice Springs with a whole group of, of women. And we stopped near this, this creek and there were these incredible bits of wood that had gathered in the corner of a creek and um, I just picked up all these bits of driftwood and I sat on the bus with a Stanley knife and, and um, an emery, couple of emery boards and um, made myself a set of uh, crochet hooks and I've had them ever since. The next big thing I think is, uh, well it's already here in haute um, fashion and in Paris at the moment, everything's going to be crochet, crochet. But I think that making things has come back. People are taking a lot of pride in, in making things and uh, maybe it's got something to do with the austerity thing, but I, I have seen so many young people that I work with, particular street children that I work with, and uh, they just love to grab bits of fabric that I give them and bits of old jumpers and they make these amazing pieces of clothing and hats and things and I think that whole deconstruction is where we're going with crochet now. Well, I have made a frilled, a frilled lizard, a life-sized frilled lizard and I've made a jacket which I've um, designed with a lot of influence from the desert and from the paintings that I've seen in the desert and I'm sending it to Oprah Winfrey as a present from me, and because uh, I believe she really does like um, frilled lizards. Um, well, yes, I think what I, I'd really like to say is that people shouldn't be afraid of crochet. I mean, I got that whole idea when I was at art school that crochet was really fiddly and, and um, all that sort of stuff, and I got put off by it. And I think um, people now are realising that they can use... I, I use a, a hook that I carved out of a broomstick handle, you know. I mean, you can make anything that you want as long as you like it. I think that's, that's what turns me on basically.